So, a lot of people have talked about the stupidity of the notion of just be yourself. Like when you're trying to introduce yourself or form a bond with another person, just be yourself. And at its surface, this is true, it's common sense. But common sense is a very English concept and not everyone thinks like an Englishman for a reason. There are different ways of looking at things. And the notion of just be yourself taken to an autistic degree, you know, it's people who typically do not possess common sense, or even to a hyper-masculine degree, does not work. When you go to a job interview, what we colloquially think of just being yourself is not what we do. Even within the first couple of months of being employed, we behave differently. And the same applies for being with a woman. Hold on, let me let me pull up a seat. Mm. Like I'm sure many of us have been in a relationship with a person, and when we start seeing this person, or we're in the talking phase, and at first they seem relatively normal, and then as you get to know them. There are insecurities and there are mental illnesses that, because they're high-functioning people you don't usually see early on, they start to come out. And us high-functioning, mentally ill motherfuckers, we got just be ourselves down succinctly in a way that it's meant to be put. And it's going to be the spoiler for the end of this video. But just be yourself doesn't make sense on its own. Even let's say friendships. Like I've made friends who at first they were the coolest people I've ever met, cooler than my best of best friends. People who are knowledgeable, seem to have the same background and struggles as me, cool, leaders, someone who when I feel like I have so much doubt for everybody in the world, I can put all my faith into them as a person. They represent to me everything that's right with the world. And then within a couple of months, it's like, I don't know, this person is the biggest asshole I've ever met in my life. But how did they get me so attached to them? It's not because they were just being themselves. And there is a very Eastern concept that I want to introduce here, which is the Japanese concept of the persona of the mask. We have three masks. <clears throat> I fucking hate these headphones. And these aren't the first headphones I've had like this. Remember the Yoda ones? But never mind. The first mask is the one you show to the public. Uh, the one you show to normies. And then your cool friends and your family. That's the second mask. That's the mask that's closer to the real you, and the mask that you only show to yourself, or someone who's close enough to you that they might as well be yourself. That's the mask you... That's the third mask, that's the deepest mask of them all. And instead of saying, just be yourself, when it comes to how you should approach people, or new bonds, or deepening bonds. My advice is instead, put on the best mask for the situation and find out what that mask is. Because you only got one of three, basically. Anyway, this has been your boy Mr. Wonka 7, and suck my dick.